Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a very special video on a very special vehicle. This is the 2023 Ford Bronco Sport Heritage Limited Edition. So these are going to be limited to only 1,966 units between 23 and 24 model year. Most dealerships are only going to get one of these and uh, this is our first one and we actually are getting two we're very fortunate but this may be the only one we get for this model year so we're doing a quick video on this first look of this of uh, exactly what you're getting as part of this heritage limited edition uh if you're wanting to you know kind of look and see what other dealerships might have one in stock then you can uh, use this video to kind of get you an idea of what's included in this and whether or not you want to go with this or the Heritage Edition. So we'll break both of those down here in just a little bit. But if you like videos like this and want to stay updated on Ford News or check out our live stream, then hit the subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified next time we have another video uploaded to the channel. So again, Heritage Limited Edition, limited to only 1,966 units. Heritage Edition is readily available. And we actually have done a video on the Heritage Edition. You can check it out. I will link it at the end of this video as a recommended video if you want to check that video out that we did for one of our members' videos. Stacy allowed us to do a, a nice video on hers. Happened to be in the same color, actually. And so it was uh, available. So the Heritage Edition is available in seven different colors, including the Robin's Egg Blue. Heritage Limited is available in this color, as well as the Yellowstone and Peak Blue, which is not, those two colors are not available on your Heritage Edition. So let's go ahead and dive in. First, talk about what each of those models are based off of before we dive into this one and take a look at all the features that you're gonna get as part of the Heritage Limited Edition. Now, first, I do wanna break down between, uh, what's the difference between that Heritage Edition and your Heritage Limited Edition. Other than the Heritage Limited has been uh, only 1,966 are being produced, the Heritage Edition is based off of your Big Ben trim. That's your 1.5 liter e engine, uh, and the capabilities that start with the, the Big Ben and then they add some of the other upgraded convenience features and such to, and of course the appearance of the Heritage Edition and all the Heritage accents and different things that you get on top of that. That's where it's based off of. The Heritage Limited Edition though, this is based off the Badlands. This is the bad boy of the Bronco Sport. This is the one that can ride right along with all of the other vehicles if you want to take this off-road this would be the one that you want to get not only is it exclusive and limited to only 1966 units for the two model years but also gives you all the capabilities of the badlands edition so the badlands edition uh, is going to give you that's that 2.0 liter ecoboost engine so uh, the only way you can get that 2.0 is with the badlands or with this one here so that's going to give you a nice upgrade with that engine to a speed automatic transmission as well but also upgrade the drivetrain and your suspension uh, this is where you get the advanced four-wheel drive system with that twin clutch rear drive unit uh, gives you upgraded suspension monotune uh, shocks and upgraded springs again so you can take this and be capable of taking this off-road also this gives you the uh, it gives you the trail control as well that's included and two more goat modes so not only on the other broncos that you get you know the normal the eco the sport and you get the slippery and sand but you also get a mud rut and a rock crawl mode yes a rock crawl mode for your bronco when you go to the badlands trim um, and above of course with the heritage limited we'll get that as well so this is where you're really getting upgraded with all that equipment off-road capabilities to be able to go right along with the big boy bronco or the big brother as some people like to say so that's uh, what the heritage limited edition will be based off is that badlands equipment and features and off-road capabilities but it'll look a little bit different now before we jump into some of the visuals here i want to talk about a couple of different things uh, that you're going to get as included that maybe you can't see um, but i wanted to make sure you know about now when you go to the heritage limited edition uh, you're going to get all the features as i mentioned from the badlands i did forget to mention the front camera which we'll probably talk about anyway because that's a visual thing on the front grill uh, but you're also going to get include uh, upgrades to it's pretty much fully loaded there's not a lot of optional packages to add so like on the badlands where you might add some convenience features and some other features they're going to be included in the heritage limited edition and one of those is the copilot 360 assist plus package that takes your pre-collision assist your bliss system 
your auto high beams rear view camera and upgrades it to where you get that the intelligent adaptive cruise control. So this is the adaptive cruise that if you're going along and you have that cruise set, someone's going slower than you, it's gonna slow you down to go their speed, even bring you to complete stop and get you going again without having to press your brake. And the intelligent part of that is also includes the speed sign recognition system. So if it sees that speed sign change, it'll adjust your speed limit and what you're going without you having to adjust it yourself. So you put a tolerance in there of over what you want above and below MS or the, uh, the speed limit and it'll adjust for you. So if you're going in that 75 mile zone, you'd like to go five over and you're going 80 miles an hour or whatever, and it changes to 70, it's gonna automatically lower your speed down to 75 keep you from getting those speeding tickets and such. So that's part of the intelligent part of this. Also get evasive steering assist, and you're gonna also, uh, with this system, get the navigation system. So uh, that package normally is optional that you would add on the Badlands or even the Outer Banks. It's included in the Heritage Limited Edition. Also, there's a package called the Journey Package. Uh, a lot of convenience fe features in this one. This is where you probably see your upgraded uh, premium package for your Badlands. Uh, that's gonna be some of those other features. Some of those are gonna will be very visual and we'll go over those when we go, do the full walk around here. But one of them that I want to talk about is remote starts included in this. Also reverse sensing system is also included. Uh, your body color door handles and some of those things are also included. Uh, the driver memory for the mirrors and the seat also included. Uh, some of those things are part of that journey package. So again, it's fully loaded. You don't actually have to add any packages to this. They're gonna already come with that package as well as your class two trailer tow package with the trailer sway control and your full size spare. So you're gonna have that hitch, the wiring, trailer sway control and the full size spare that's also gonna be included with this package. So uh, I wanted to kind of preface and kind of talk about some of the things you visually may not see that are included in this already as part of the Heritage Limited Edition. But now let's talk about, now let's turn this thing around. Let's, let's talk about the exterior styling and how it looks and uh, what I kind of my impressions of it in person. Now here in the front, this one looks, I, I love the look of this. This is the Robin's Egg Blue color, by the way. Uh, but I love the grill up here. So this, it takes that Badlands grill design that you normally would be carbonized gray and gives you the Oxford white uh, painted grill. Nice smooth finish to that. It does have the race red Bronco lettering up here as well on the front, just like you maybe see in the old uh, first gen Bronco, which really cool. Has the front camera up here. So 180 degree front camera as well. So that way you can kind of really see in front of you. Uh, again, comes in real handy when you're going off road and such uh, so that you can go ahead and see what's right there in front of you. Uh, this also has a, just like on all the other Broncos, does have the active grill shutters, does have your LED headlights, signature lighting as well. LED fog lights are all included. Front tow hooks up here, as you can see on both sides. So very great uh, start and look to the front of the vehicle. Very unique. People will see that coming uh, you know, at them and they're gonna be going, wow, that's something special. Now, as we move around to the side, this will get your molded in black uh, front part of the bumper, as well as it will lip moldings and down below really protects it from rock chips and stuff like that getting kicked up so you can really take this off road. You'll see the white, the, the, the Oxford white painted 17 inch alloy wheels. So it kind of takes the, uh, the off road uh, Badlands wheel and then gives it that white look to it. Uh, and again, bringing some of the heritage of the past there. Also, you're going to get upgraded. These are the the Wild Peak tires. So the Falcon Wall Peak, uh, Wild Peak tires here. All-terrain tires, even that tread comes over onto the sidewalls. It does have a 29 inch all-terrain tire uh, that is an upgrade to this. So you get, again, all the capabilities that you don't have to add really any features to this. I think the only optional feature on this vehicle that's even available is upgrading the B&O audio sound system a little bit, but uh, great look to this over here. You're gonna see over here a little bit different than the Heritage Edition where that has the white stripe coming down the side. You're gonna have this nice Bronco script here on the side, uh, Bronco Sport script. That is very special. You, you're not gonna see it on any other vehicle except for this one and really dresses up that, that door up here and gives it a nice look to it. Body color door handles, as we mentioned, does have intelligent access. So with the key fob in your pocket, which I don't have, put your hands in the door handle, it's gone back unlock the vehicle out to get in and out and use the push button to start to start the vehicle. So again, you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start it. When you get out, just press the ridges on the door. It's going to lock it up. Also keypad, keyless entry as well is included with this. Bliss system, as I mentioned, already part of the Copilot 360. 
blind spot information system with cross traffic alert, also driver memory for the rear view mirror or for the side view mirrors uh, so that you can uh, adjust it for, uh, I think up to three different drivers for that there. You also see the Oxford white painted roof up here. So that's very special as well. A job too, they have gone to the fact that these on the Badlands edition are gonna be body colored. So uh, with the option to upgrade to the black roof, but this is the only time you'll see the white roof on this does have a little bit different design on the roof rack side rails, just like you'd see on the Badlands edition as well. So a real nice uh, uh, design there. You will get the moon roof is also part of that journey package. So we'll have the power moon roof with the manual sunshade that's available. And it kind of fills up this first part of this is gonna be a glass uh, part of the roof there. So it looks real cool. I love the, how that, that roof line goes right there too. Don't forget easy fuel cap is Philidor. It's available at standard on about all the vehicles. And with these pillars here being the high gloss black finish, kind of gives you that floating roof line look to the vehicle right here. Privacy glass on these windows, the quarter windows and the back glass. Um, but let's go and turn around and show you what it looks like from the back. Now here in the back, of course, we do see the continuation of the Oxford white painted roof with this, this top part of the lift gate. Uh, painted center high mounted stoplight, rear defrost, rear wiper. This glass does pop separate from the regular part of the vehicle or for the lift gate, I should say. That just allows you to put those last items in there if you really want to just load this up with those, uh, those things in there. The Oxford white painted or uh, lettering back here, the Bronco Sport lettering molded in black. Uh, rear bumpers back here. Again, with the reverse sensing system, you can see right there and the rear view camera coming out back here front and rear camera and your tow hitch down there, class two trailer tow package with your wiring as well there. Trailer sway control too. Open up the lift gate is a manual lift gate. Open that up inside here. You will see the body bottle opener here. So that just allows you, if you're camping that kind of thing, then you can go ahead and use that bottle opener here to open those beer bottles, whatever you might have, or soda bottles, right? Uh, in the vehicle if you want. Uh, so it gives you that camping uh, flexibility here or tailgating, whatever it might be. You do have lights right up here as well. Uh, these flood lights that you can adjust pretty easily. Uh, those switches are on the, the, the driver's side over there. Just press that and those will light up as you can see. You know, you can bring those out to your campsite, that kind of thing there. Shut that off. Also inside here, you will see on both sides, you do have kind of a carabiner hooks here for you. So you can hook things up on both sides. There's uh, two on the driver's side, two on the passenger side. Passenger side also does have a 12 volt power point as well as an outlet over there too on to build power things. Now, this does have the front license plate bracket. We don't put it on. It's up to the customers if they want to put on. We will put that on. We have some customers who don't want that. In here, you do have the full size spare under there. It is a steel, but it will be painted. Uh, it'll be a black steel wheel, not the white. Uh, again, it's only just in case you need that spare tire. There are uh, tie downs back here too. Uh, right here in the back and two court towards the front. This is kind of an all weather material. The seat backs as well do get that too. So you can see that this one's not snapped in completely. I'll snap that in. And then also you do get this uh, cargo management system in here. I believe that is standard equipment on these. So I love this cargo management shelf divider system. So you can uh, open that up, gives you a shelf. You can see magnets on that so you can get it just right. You can bring it out over. So if you unlock it and you bring it out to where the arrows are and then you can lock it back into position there. And there you go. Got to get it in the right place. Uh, lock that in position. There you go. And then you can bring these little legs out. Right. Bring those legs out. They sit on the top of that bumper there. And now you have like a little table so you can put things on. It does have a 30 pound limit, it says on here, just so you know that. Um, and then you can also take this out and it creates a divider completely. So if I unlock that, go ahead and flip it in. There is, by the way, a ruler on the top of this if you needed it. Uh, and it even tells you left or right so you won't get this wrong. Um, so going to fit that up. There's two spots in here that it can fit in as a divider. So just go down. There you go. Put that in position and there's even cutouts for this. Uh, so you know exactly where that's going to be for that divider. So that way you don't have things rolling out if you want to or just divide your cargo that way. You can put one in the back as well. Uh, so you can slide that and put it in the back too. So pretty cool little cargo management system that you have here and uh, 
pretty cool little setup here in the back. So it is set up, ready to go camping. Now moving to the inch here again, don't forget this takes everything part of the Badlands equipment and features as part of that premium package, which now the, it would be called the journey package for this edition. Uh, for the the Heritage Limited Edition, uh, you're going to get all those interior comfort features that you'd expect. Of course, power windows, locks, mirrors. It uh, does have the driver memory for the extra mirror as well as with for the driver's seat. Uh, speaking of that, dual powered seats for the driver and front passenger up here. Uh, you're going to get that heated seats for the driver and front passenger as well. And heated steering wheel with a leather wrap steering wheel. All those great convenience features you'd expect. does have the uh, vinyl uh, washout interior. Uh, like you'd see with the Badlands Edition with the uh, floor mats here in the front seat as well. Uh, so you can kind of see that. Also the Molly strap system with the zipper pockets in the back seat on both the driver and front passenger seat and that open open compartment on the passenger seat in the back you can flip that cushion up gives you a little extra uh, storage in there that you normally see on that badlands edition uh, so all those great features you'd expect push button start uh, also sync three system with the navigation uh, of course, all the pinch to zoom capabilities and all that for the navigation. Uh, the tilt, manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so it'll go up and down, forward, back. Does get you the paddle shifters in the back, uh, back here as well. Uh, when you need to go in that manual mode, if you're going off road and that kind of thing, the uh, bigger productivity screen is part of the uh, the Badlands Premium package. You're getting all those features with this. So all the upgrades, the wireless charging pad down here. You have USB ports, uh, two of them here, USB Type A and C in the front with a PowerPoint. In the back, you get an outlet and two USB ports, a Type A and C behind the console back here. So all those great features, the uh, rotor dial shifter here, of course, all your parking brake auto hold also right here is included and your goat modes, uh, those seven different goat modes we talked about earlier, or if you just want to put it in four by four lock, boom, you can just do that. You don't have to use the goat modes if you want, if you're advanced four wheel drive. Also the trail control, that's cruise control for the trail, allowing you to keep that speed between zero and 19 miles an hour if you're on the trail. And then you can just worry about steering the vehicle through that course, so which is uh, really nice as well. So now, oh, and then dual zone climate control as well for the driver and front passenger up here. So you have two different temperatures. Those will show up on the screen when you adjust them right here. Uh, now let's talk about some of the accents and features as part of the Heritage Limited Edition that we don't normally see. And that is the accents on the door. So it does have the Oxford white trim around the doors right there. You can also see that Oxford white around the dash. So it kind of goes up and over the dash down and in this compartment right here. So it's a very dedicated look and finish to this. So you know you have something special. Also, don't forget the armrest. It is the roast interior uh, trim here. It does have the race red stitching on those arm poles or, or the armrest. So that's a really cool dedication to that. And then you'll see that same type of finish on the console cover itself too. Now for the seats themselves, you're going to have that roast interior plaid finish to those ActiveX seats, easy to wash off and clean, a little bit easier to clean than leather, does have the race red stitching as well as Oxford white stitching, both of those on your seats. Pretty cool. And again, don't forget, I mentioned heated seats for the driver and front passenger. You'll see that same stitching and design on the rear seats as well with an armrest that comes out of the middle backrest back there too. Uh, so a pretty cool dedicated interior that you get as part of this. And to finish it all off, a very dedicated badging right here that says established 1966 Ford Heritage Edition. So pretty cool how that looks right there and even has Bronco etched in and then the Bronco script right underneath there. Pretty cool, has the bolt-on uh, uh, accent to that uh, or bolt the bolt-on screws right there so that way it gives it that nice tough bold you know Bronco look to it in here. Pretty cool uh, finishing that with the convenience features on the interior as well and uh, so I also does have universal garage openers up here on the visor uh, for three the three different remotes uh, also auto dimming rear view mirror so all the convenience features you'd expect as part of that badlands premium package as part of that journey package um, also does have b &O audio sound system on this particular one so uh, pretty cool and how all that that uh, all those features work together to complete this heritage limited edition out so there you have it that is our first look at the 2023 ford bronco sport Heritage Limited Edition, again, limited to only 1,966. So if you get your hands on one of these, you're gonna be feeling pretty special. Only a select few are gonna be able to get those between this year and next year. 
And uh, so again, this one is a sold unit. So just so you know, uh, so appreciate your customer letting us uh, use their vehicle as a, uh, for this video. And uh, we do have one more allocation for our uh, Bronco Sport Heritage Limited Edition. Probably we can get in that in uh, 2024. Uh, so a very exclusive uh, vehicle here, but if you're able to find some out there at some different uh, local dealer, you know kind of what you're getting there. So really, if you want that off, all the off-road capabilities, but in a very exclusive limited run vehicle, this would be the one for you. So also don't forget, check out at the end of this uh, clip, uh, we'll have two different videos. One of them happens to be one on the Heritage Edition that we did. So if you're thinking, oh, I really like that, but uh, I don't need all the off-road capabilities. Heritage Edition might be for you. Uh, so check out that video. It's our first look of the Heritage Edition. Um, and then also a video on the Badlands. So if you wanna watch and see what all is included in the Badlands Edition, check out that video that we did um, that we went over all those features as well as um, all our other Bronco videos that we have. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So that way you can be notified next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel where we have plenty of uh, great Ford content. Don't forget to check out our live stream every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. where you can stay updated on Ford production information, dealer news updates, recalls, and uh, we even have a topic each week that you probably enjoy. Plus, we take your questions live. So join us there. And until then, don't forget to stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself.